Okay? Everything is jiva. The stone is jiva, you are jiva, water is jiva, leaf is jiva, flower is jiva. Everything is jiva there. Everything is living. So uh, there is no other thing than living. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna So 7 5. So here you see the word Jeeva Bhuta, the living entities. Another place Jeeva Bhuta is used is 15 7. Chapter 15, text 7 of Bhagavad Gita. Mamai Vamsho Jeeva Loke Jeeva Bhutaha Sanatanaha Manaha Shashthan Indriyani Prakriti Sthani Karshati Prakriti Sthani Karshati This position of the soul where he is struggling Karshati means struggling hard So in the Prakriti Sthani means situated in this material world, material energy So he is struggling with his six senses, five senses and the mind so in this position he is called as Jeeva Bhutaha. And when he comes out of this, when he comes above the three modes, above the influence of the material world, then he is called Brahma Bhuta. 14.26 Mamcha Yogya Bhicharena Bhakti Yogena Sevate Sagunan Samatitya Etan Brahma Bhuyaya Kalpate So Aham Brahmasmi means I am spirit, I am pure spirit, I am nothing to do with matter. Jiva means the living force within matter, the living part of matter. In other words, it, it's not a part of matter, but because we think we are part of matter and factually we are living, so it's in this, it's this, um, you know, fusion of the living entity and the material nature that is referred to as Jiva Bhuta. Whereas Brahma Bhuta is when he is completely liberated from this idea that he is a product of this material world and that is the meaning of the word Aham Brahmasmi, not Aham Jivasmi. Hmm. So because in the spiritual world, if I say I am Jiva, everybody is Jiva, everybody is living, everything is living. So we will be, it's like, Um, I mean, just a very crude example. <laughs> there was this. Um, we used to have, I mean, Chaitanya Leela Prabhu and Karuna Mai Mataji. Chaitanya Leela Prabhu and Karuna Mai Mataji. They are now in Australia. So, about uh, seven, eight years ago, seven to eight years ago, they were here in Singapore for about a year and a half. And we used to go to this market, vegetable market. So. And we used to go there because here in the vegetable market, uh, it, it's a wholesale market where uh, many of the vendors, they give free vegetables. They give free vegetables, a lot of them. So, so when we go there, so sometimes they would say, uh, um, let's go to that Asian, uh, this Chaitan Leela Prabhu used to say, uh, let's go to that Asian uh, vendor. So I tell him, you are in Asia. You are you are the only one Australian here. Everyone, including me, I'm an Asian. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go to the Chinese vendor. He would say, "Well, except for you and me, I came from India, and you are coming from Australia. Everyone here is Chinese." So tell, telling that this is a uh, go to the Chinese vendor. Everybody is a Chinese. So. <laughs> It's like there's no distinction. If we say that there is a German person there and say, oh, let's go to the German German fellow. Uh, that, that would be something starkly different. You know, when there is uh, <clears throat> somebody who's completely out of the norm. So, <laughs> I, I'm giving this example because if I go to the spiritual world and say, oh, I am Jiva. Right? Everything is Jiva. The stone is Jiva, you are Jiva, water is Jiva, leaf is Jiva, flower is Jiva. Everything is Jiva there. Everything is living. So, uh, there is no other thing than living. Brahma. Sarvam Khalvidam Brahma. So, of course, there is so much variety and each has its individuality. Um, so, there is nothing else that 
a living entity can be distinguished from in this material world there is matter there is spirit so there is panchamaha bhuta there is sukshma bhuta there is jiva bhuta but there just everything is brahma brahma arpanam brahma haver brahma agno brahmana hutam brahmai vatena gantavyam brahma karma samadhina so everything this activity this devotion service everything is spiritual there uh, so there uh, everybody is known but it's not that it's all one no it's like uh, ramanujacharya has uh, described this as a green bird a parrot for example if he goes into a green tree the green merges with green but it's not that the bird were merged with the tree the bird still maintains its individuality on the branch of the tree so similarly it may appear that a an animal has if animal has come out from a forest onto the road from the trees and then oh there is an animal and then suppose he goes back into the woods oh now he has merged into the forest but it's not that he has merged into the forest he is always living hmm. so like that um for the outside for the for the lame observer i mean he would say that oh he has merged into the forest but that's not an accurate description yeah he went into the forest but he did not merge with the forest so likewise so this is the difference between jiva bhuta and brahma bhuta sagunan samatitya etan sagunan this this three guna sattva guna rajo guna tamo guna once one has samatitya samatitya means to transcend above these three modes yeah yes then he is called brahma bhuta brahma bhuyaya kalpate elevated to the brahman platform 